But of course, Malchus is also leadership. And the Jewish people were born to be leaders. Whether we like it or not, it turns out that wherever you go, in every area, Jews are the leaders in that area, whether it's uh, medicine, whether it's law, whether it's business, whether it's science. Jews somehow end up being leaders in their fields. But of course, we were chosen to be leaders, to be leaders to the world, to bring them the Geula. Because and every Jew is not just a leader, but every Jew is a Nitzas of Mashiach. I just heard a half an hour ago a story told by Rabbi Sabatitsky, and I'd like to share it. I don't know if we have time. But if the moderators feel we don't have time, I'll stop. But the story is a French uh, chassid came to America with other Frenchies, and one of the people that he came with, who remains nameless, was a little bit off, a little bit mentally unstable, and he was telling everyone that he's Mashiach. And people, some people were laughing at him, some people were encouraging him to go to a psychiatrist. And then one day he decides he wants to go to the Rebbe, he wants Yechidus, he wants to have a private audience with the Rebbe. So he makes an appointment because the Rebbe in those days was anyone who made an appointment, he may have to wait, but he got in to see the Rebbe. Rabbi Groner, who didn't speak French, and this person only spoke French, asked the Chabad rabbi who went with him, I think his name was Rabbi Milul, to stand by the door to listen what was going on. So if the guy is harassing the Rebbe and taking his time for nonsense, he should tell him and Rabbi Groner would make sure to get him out that he shouldn't be wasting the Rebbe's time because that's so precious. So he's standing by the door, opens up a drop, and he hears how this young man tells the Rebbe, I am Mashiach. And the Rebbe doesn't laugh. The Rebbe is very serious. And the Rebbe says to him, do you put on tefillin every day? And he said, no. So the Rebbe says, if you're Mashiach, you have to put on tefillin. So the man says, if it means that I have to put on tefillin to be Mashiach, I will put on tefillin every day. Then the Rebbe asked him, do you keep kosher? And he said, no. So the Rebbe says, if you want to be Mashiach, Mashiach is a holy person. He has to eat holy. He has to eat kosher. So he says, well, if that's what it means, absolutely. I'm, I'm on. I'm into it. I will keep kosher. And the Rebbe says, do you observe Shabbos? And he says, no. He says, well, before you could be Mashiach, you have to learn the laws of Shabbos. And then after you finish learning the laws and you observe Shabbos, come back to me and we'll discuss it. What else you have to do to be Mashiach? And the guy goes out of the Rebbe's room and he's beaming and he's telling the other students, oh, you laughed at me. The Rebbe is, me, is with me. He's on my side. Now the Rebbe was not acting because every Jew, the Baal Shem Tov taught, has a spark of Mashiach in him or her. And we have to just reveal that spark. And that's what the Rebbe was doing with that young man who needed perhaps some professional help, but the Rebbe was giving him truth, not professional help, that he is Mashiach. And the way to reveal that spark and to bring the real Mashiach, which he'll of course recognize, is by doing the mitzvahs that we have to do. So we all have the spark of Mashiach. We're all Malchus. We just have to awaken and ignite that spark. So to summarize, the seven traits that Jews are known for is their kindness, their chutzpah, their compassion, their stubbornness, their modesty, their ability to communicate and bond, and they are complainers. And that is the power that we have. And we have to elicit this, these powers in these seven weeks we're coming to the end, to the very last week, and with Hashem's help and with our contribution, our modest contribution, we will see Mashiach revealing himself, taking us out of Golos, bringing us up, us to the third base Hamigdash, 